I graduate and uh, now in those days, uh, I mean, I, I just think opportunities were there. Mm -hmm. I keep saying, you know, I've never applied for a job my whole life. Okay. <laughs> because, you know, by the time I was leaving campus, I'd already gotten a letter by from the government to join the Minister of Transport. Okay. Actually, when I was in Form 4, I'd also been offered uh, a letter by Kenya Air Force to join the Air Force that I turned it down. Because they they uh, admitted me to the Air Force. Uh -huh. Why? <laughs> Why did you? I don't even know how they called them my name, but I think they just used to go to the list, uh -huh. look at the well performing students. You didn't want to join the military. I mean, you had you had an option here. You wanted it. You really wanted the military before, or at least you've grown up in the yes. in the days. Yeah. You didn't feel this was. No, it's because I felt uh, the military was very structured. All right. And I needed a life that Some I can. Kind of, yeah, that's more okay. flexible. Right. I can determine my own. Okay. I didn't want all those orders and yeah. all of the things. Okay. That felt a bit too much. Okay. Yeah. And then now here at Amita yeah. Campus, you're, yeah. you're getting an offer. Yes. From the Ministry of Transport. Yes. To join as what? Okay. So as a as an engineer, uh -huh. I was uh, offered a position in the Ministry of, Ministry of Transport mm -hmm. in the design section. So designing roads. Mm -hmm. basically. So wait, in campus you graduate mm -hmm. as a are you specializing in any engineering yes, yes. work? It's what they call geospatial engineering. Geospatial, geospatial engineering. It's one that deals with the precise measurements. Uh -huh. uh, so all engineerings all work in complementarity. Yeah. So if you're designing like a building, like or it is even a road, mm -hmm. like my first job was a road. Mm -hmm. So um, different engineers play different roles. Mm -hmm. um, so the first person on the ground will be the geospatial engineering because you have to take measurements. So like if you are doing a road from Mombasa to Kisumu, for example, mm -hmm. uh, the first thing is just to design the road. To design the road, you need to get measurements in terms of elevations and so forth. Mm -hmm. So you fly an aircraft um, and then you take pictures, you take them to the lab, you create a 3D mm -hmm. image, mm -hmm. and then you can be able now to you know, because the road goes up like that, eh? mm -hmm. and when you design, it's gonna be flat right. or curves. Yes. So all that mm -hmm. is normally the just special engineer. Yeah. That. Yeah. Then after that, um, and get involved in part of the design. Yeah. Then after that, you bring the civil engineer mm -hmm. who does comes and puts the road on the ground, mm -hmm. but together still with the just special engineer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then you, there will be mechanical parts of the kind of engineer will deal with the mechanical parts. Mm. There will be electrical parts and the engineer will deal with the electrical parts. Mm. So, um, so my assignment was then to be involved in the, in the design section right. of the Ministry of Transport. Right. So my first job was designing roads basically. Yeah. My first role was in Mbukuti, mm -hmm. between Mbukuti and Maral and Bida yeah. and yeah. other places. Mm -hmm. Years later, you look back at those and you're like, Yeah, I worked on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and uh, uh, your time actually on working in design, or, yeah. I mean, working in engineering, actual yeah. engineering, how yeah. was that period? How long and how was Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we were put on the engineering team mm -hmm. because then they put you on a team mm -hmm. because of the different uh, competencies they required to do the design. Mm -hmm. And uh, I still remember. Um, yeah, on my first day, mm. uh, reporting, you were given, you were given a bed, you were given a mattress because you were along the road. Mm -hmm. uh, we were given a new car, mm -hmm. top of the ridge, mm -hmm. then because our project was sponsored by Norway. Mm -hmm. And um, I lived on the road a lot. Mm -hmm. I did not need uh, money because you mm -hmm. live on uh, what they call the uh, the terminology now, but. Um, you're on the road, mm -hmm. so then you are given money to survive on. Right. So once I do even touch mm -hmm. my salary, mm -hmm. I was basically using the money that... Um, sort of like a IDM? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, there's a particular company, but mm -hmm. yeah, you get IDMs mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. Now, the interesting thing mm -hmm. is that, um, yeah, impressed. Mm -hmm. Impressed, so, yes. Yeah, so you're going to be out, let's say, for a week. Mm -hmm. They'll give you money to stay in hotels mm -hmm. for a week. Mm -hmm. But then, when you come back, mm -hmm. um, you are supposed to account for the money. Mm. As per expenditure? Yes. With receipts? Yes. Uh -huh. 
So if you if you are given a hundred thousand mm. and then you spend uh, eighty thousand, mm. you're supposed to bring the receipts for eighty thousand and then of course change. Mm. Now obviously nobody ever does that. Nobody ever brings a change. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember once we have been out in the field mm. and I think uh, so of course we spent less than uh, then uh, what you've been, like, you been given yeah so he came back to the account and said okay these are my receipts mm. and this is the money that uh, mm. that then was left oh wow the guy's mouth mm. literally dropped mm. like, <laughs> like, like, i'm serious crazy <laughs> what are you doing tell me the history of this this ministry i've never seen him bringing back the money and of course now it got my teammates in trouble mm. Because then they are saying if Mutunki was out for five days, mm. so you, the rest of you, you should also be a co- mm. returning money for the. So it was a bit of a crit, a bit of a friction, man. Mm. Because you felt like. Mm. Uh, but then for me, I felt, well, I mean, let me deal with what I have to do. You deal with the issues. Mm. Because, you know, I need to be truthful to what I was given. Mm. 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 Yeah, but, you know, uh, it, it was fun. But one of the things that uh, I also became aware at that point mm. was that I was quite I, I was quite young in my Christian faith mm-hmm. and really you know road, life on the road mm. what is it you know during the day you're on the road mm. in the evening mm. you go to your hotel mm. and everybody is drinking mm. and eating meat mm. and um, and of course mm. sleeping with uh, mm. a prostitute or whatever. Mm. So I realized my life was becoming very vulnerable mm. and my grounding in my faith wasn't as strong as it should have been. Mm. Mm. So I joined a Bible study with the navigators mm. and then I used to travel from uh, my Kipia Rumuruti mm. every two weeks mm-hmm. for the Bible study. Mm. The Bible study we call it the Fishers of Men. Mm. These guys would be in campus together, boys and girls. Mm. And that's how we began getting grounded. Mm-hmm. But very soon I realized that I really needed to have a better grasp mm-hmm. of my understanding of the Bible. Mm-hmm. So one and a half years down the road, two years, um, the tension was so much mm-hmm. that I needed to get my life grounded in the Bible. Mm-hmm. So the navigators asked me, can you come on full time staff for two years so that we can mentor you and mm-hmm. coach you mm-hmm. Um, so that you, even if you go back to the ministry, mm. you still uh, you have that grounding. Mm. To go back to the ministry, in this case, the Ministry of Transport. Ministry mm. of Transport, mm. which I thought was a very good idea. Mm. So I, I applied for two years study. All right. And uh, I was just looking at the letter mm. a few days, a few months ago. Mm. But then they asked me, but what does this have to do with engineering? Mm. I said nothing. I just want to grow in my yeah. in my faith. Mm. I said, no. Mm. I resigned mm. and joined the Navigators for mm. months, which ended up being 15 years. You stayed at the Navigators for 15 years? Yes. Right. Something like that, I think. Okay. Yeah. We will be right back. We'll yeah. pick it up from the yeah. Navigators. Yes. Uh, and hear your yeah. experience in Navigators yeah. for 15 years because yes. I'm sure you have quite a, <laughs> you have quite a, a, a yeah. exciting moments yeah. that yeah. Uh, you, you'd like to share there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so far. This is a good story.